Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm actually trying out a new setup here. This is actually my streaming setup, but I thought I'd test it out, see how it works for YouTube videos. Also, whenever I have something that I want to show you guys on the computer, I figure this might be the way that I'll do it. I don't know. I'll see how this works out. But yeah, that's actually some big news. I did start a Twitch account recently. Uh, so if you guys want to see any gaming related content, which I've always been a big gamer, but I haven't been gaming for like the past five years. So I kind of want to get back into it with this Twitch account and also just some secondary content for the channel related to um, statues and maybe some manga. I was actually going to do this manga ranking tier list in on Twitch, but it's a little late and um, I would, pre would have preferred to have some of you guys on there, but I did want to get this video out tomorrow. So instead, I'm just going to record it, test it out and see how this works for YouTube videos. But yeah, the reason that I'm doing this ranking or this tier list is because I recently I recently saw the manga sloth do this and it, it looked like a really fun video. I've always wanted to do a, a tier list on manga, Blu-rays or movies and stuff like that. But but I've never actually just decided to go ahead and do it. But when I saw the manga sloth do it and Toonies manga do it, uh, both of their videos are great, by the way. Definitely go check it out. I'll try to remember to leave a link down below to those videos. Um, but I saw them do it, look like fun. So I figured I'd do it because I was actually going to do my top 10 after 10 manga video a series that I started last year that I kind of forgot about. Hopefully I can bring that back this year. But to kind of recap where I'm at with all the series that I've read, I figured a tier list might be a good way to, to kind of recap where I'm at with all the series that I've read. So let's go ahead and go to the computer. We're going to go over all of the manga that I've read, not just in 2021, just everything that I've read from the beginning when I started reading manga in 2020. So let's go to the computer over here. All right, so check it out. I do have a secondary webcam over here. Quality is not as great as my iPhone, but I think it works for streaming and for this video. So yeah. All right, so here is my tier list. I decided to just keep the stock tier list here. So going from S, S is gonna be those series that I love and I could reread and I recommend all the time. A is gonna be for series that I like a lot, but not quite in that love category. B is gonna be for those series that are good, fun reads. A good example of B series for me is probably gonna be a lot of this etchy manga that I've have that I've read here. And then C is for series that are just okay. And then finally D is the bottom tier, so that series that I hated and I most likely dropped. So with that explained, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm just gonna start pulling them off from this top left corner. Uh, so Bleach, I do really like Bleach, but it has its moments. I wouldn't quite say that it's an A. I'd put it here at a B. It is a fun series. I had my fun with it, but, but by the end, I remember just kind of reading through it and just wanting to get to the end just for the sake of getting to the end. Um, but I do like it, so I think it's good there at a B, which is fitting because B is for Bleach. Now, Chainsaw Man, this has been the new hotness and I have been really enjoying it. Um, I wouldn't quite put it in S rank, but I will put it up here in A. Loving this series, it's, and I can see why it's getting all the hype that it's getting. Uh, Die Dark, I read this one, I only read the first volume and um, a lot of it kind of went over my head. I don't quite remember much of it, so for now, I'd probably put it here in the C tier. I thought it was just okay. Uh, Destiny Lovers, another one that I've read one volume for, but I read this one alongside two other etchy manga, and out of those three that I read at the time, I'd say that this one was my least favorite of the three, so I'd probably put it here at a C, um, and yeah, I would put it behind Die Dark. Uh, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, this one is a solid B. I had a lot of fun with that one, and, and I need to jump back on that one. Uh, Drifting Classrooms, oh, this one's kind of hard. Um, I read this one in, in October. Um, I was trying to read it for the spooky season. And if you've seen my manga collection video, you know that I wasn't enjoying it all that much, at least the first volume. Um, I couldn't, I can't put it in D. I, would, I can't say that I hate it, but for now it will go in the C tier. Um, maybe once I read Omnibus 2 and 3, this will change. But for now, it's at the back, it's at the back end of a C. Now, Arrow Ninja Scrolls, this one I am gonna go ahead and put in D. I've read the first volume, and while it does have a lot of fan service, um, it's just not that good. Like, the, the stories, there's not much of a story going on there, and it's not really clear what exactly is going on there. So yeah, I'd say this one is just hot trash, at a D. I do have, I, I just got volume two in, so I'm gonna read that, and then I'm probably gonna get rid of it. 
uh, failed princesses. This one is also at a D. I am dropping this one, but I will say that um, it is a lot better than Arrow Ninja. So I'm gonna put it at the front end of D. Um, I just don't think I'm quite the demographic for this one. It's very cutesy. It is a Yuri, or actually, to the point that I've read, it's not technically a Yuri. It's just two girls that are very good friends. Um, it might transition into being a Yuri later in the series, but right now, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. I think it's more for a younger audience. Um, now, Flowers of Evil. This right here is the first work by Shuzo Oshimi on this list. And I'm pretty sure everything Shuzo Oshimi is gonna go up here in the S rank because Shuzo Oshimi stands for S and all of his stuff is just God tier. So I'm putting that up here in the S rank. If you guys haven't read anything from Shuzo Oshimi, I highly recommend you check him out. Uh, Gigant, oh man, this one's hard. I would put this one at an S or an A. Um, all right, for now I'm putting it in an S rank just because I have a lot of fun with that series. It's one of those that I get them and I read them right away. Uh, and I would say it has a quite a huge re readability factor. Uh, so yeah, I'm putting it in the S, but it's probably gonna be at the back end, maybe later. Once I fill this up some more, it might go down to the A, but for now, I'm putting it at the back end of an S. Uh, happiness, so Happiness is another S rank by Shuzo Oshimi. Uh, be, does it go in front of Flowers of Evil or behind Flowers of Evil? Uh, I'm gonna put it in front. This was my first work by Shuzo Oshimi. Love the art style of it, so yeah, definitely going in the front here. How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? This is one that I've never had bad things to say about. I've always enjoyed it. Um, I always recommend it. So it's gonna go here in the B ranking and I will put it, I think I'll put it in front of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I do really enjoy reading that one. I think I enjoy it a tad bit more than Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Now, Hunter, Hunter. Oh man, you guys know I love me some Hunter, Hunter. So I'm gonna put that one at the front of the S rank. I would put it in top, in front of Shuzo Oshimi uh, just because I love that series so much. Um, and the stuff after the anime ends, oh my god, it just gets so good with the Dark Continent arc and the princesses and all of that stuff. It's gonna be crazy once they, well, hopefully one day we will get more seasons in the anime form and we will get the series continued. Pray to God. Um, but yeah, I love it. So I'm putting it at the top of my list, that's probably never gonna change. I am a Hunter Hunter fanboy. Uh, Inuyashiki, uh, another really good series. Um, I would probably, this is another one by the same mangaka as Gigant, Hiroyu Oka, and his stuff is just good. I'm really enjoying it. So I, I probably put it in an A rank and probably behind Chainsaw Man. I do think I enjoy Chainsaw Man more than Inuyashiki. Uh, Kaiju number eight. I've only read one volume, but that one volume that I've read is really good. Um, so I would put it, you know what? I'd put it here at the front end of B. Probably need to read some more, but it has potential to come up here into the A rank. Now Miruku-chan, I've heard a lot of controversy about the anime. There's a lot of uh, fan service in it, which I don't remember that from the manga. I still haven't seen the anime, but I am really enjoying the manga, but I'd probably put this one at a B. Probably also in front of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I just think it has a lot more going for it. I love the art style. Um, the creatures that they draw in there look really scary and really well drawn. I really do like it. So yeah, that's probably well, that's probably a good spot for me, Ruku-chan, right now. Now, Monster, my first Naoki Urasawa work. And I love the heck out of this while I was reading it. But um, long term, I don't know if I will ever go back and reread it very much, so I wouldn't put it in an S rank, which might upset some people since I have Gigant there in the S rank, but going off of the way that I've explained this, I don't know how much of a re reliability factor this has, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put it probably behind Chainsaw Man. Now another series that might cause controversy here for some of my viewers is One Piece. I know a lot of my viewers love One Piece. A lot of people on the Discord are always talking about One Piece. Um, but I have only read up to the Drum Island arc, I think so, uh, where we meet Chopper. And so I haven't got into those like Arabasta arc, which I heard is where the series really picks up. So right now I'm going to have to put it in a B rank. Um, and I'd probably put it 
in front of Bleach, but behind Kaiju number eight. I did really enjoy that first volume of Kaiju number eight, so I'm putting this in front of One Piece for now. Uh, we'll see what people have to say about that. Now, Parallel Paradise, this is one of the other etchy series that I read alongside Destiny Lovers. Um, this one has quite a bit more fan service than, than Destiny Lovers, but the story, it's pretty interesting. It's sort of like an isekai, a guy gets transported into a world where there's only females so far into the story, but they only live up to a certain age, and the only way for them to live longer than that is if they have intercourse. So yeah, that's kind of where I left off on volume one. So I do like the MC. So I'm going to put this one at the back end of a B rank. Rock Hero. Um, this one, unfortunately, will be ending really soon, but I've had a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it um, at the front end of a B. So this one goes in front of Kaiju number eight. Real Account, this is a death game manga. If you guys like that show, um, Squid Game, you might enjoy this one. I know I did, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it, uh, where do I put this one? I'll go ahead and put it back here, and you know what? I think I'm probably gonna move this one over here to the front end of C. We're getting a lot of Bs right now. And we're probably gonna get some more because Sayonara Football is probably like the definition of B. It's, it's not the greatest, but it's not bad. I like the art style. I actually really like the story too. I don't hear too many people talking about it, and the few that I have, I've actually heard negative things about it, which I don't understand because I thought it was just good. So I'm gonna put it um, here at the end of the bees. Uh, now, Soul Leader, this is another one, another B, I think. Um, I love the art style in Soul Leader. I probably need to get into it more. I've only read about two of the omnibuses, um, but I definitely wouldn't put it above One Piece or Bleach. Um, it'll probably good go here. It'll probably go good here, right behind Bleach. All right, now Spy Family. I recently caught up with the physicals of this one, and this one is going straight into the A rank. Um, I'm loving it. I think it's really fun. I love Anya, and I just love the whole Forger family, really. They're all great characters, so uh, I'm really enjoying this one. It, it does have a high readability factor, I think, um, so it might have, it has potential to go up. I just kind of, I want I want to see if they're ever going to explain how Anya got her powers. That would be interesting, but uh, we'll see about that. Uh, now, Sweat and Soap. This is a series that I'm pretty behind on. I haven't caught up. I need to because it's now complete. Um, did I get all my volumes? I think I'm missing one volume, but I'm, I'm still like on volume five right now. But it is a solid series, and I will put it um, probably right here i will say i'm enjoying these three more than sweat and soap but uh, from what i've heard it ends great so i can't wait to finish that one off all right now please put them on takamine san i recently read this one and you i want to put it at an a that's how much i'm liking this series but realistically i know it's not better than some of these series right here so i'm gonna go ahead and put it right here, right in front of Sweat and Soap. I'm really enjoying that one though. Um, I just love the whole, the whole concept of her turning back time or changing events um, by her removing her panties um, and just the situations that she puts the main character in, um, I think is hilarious and it's has some good fan service for those of you who like etchy, etchy series. Um, that's definitely one of the best right now that I have read. So I think that's a good spot, even though I do want to put it at an A. All right, now, Our Teachers Are Dating is another Yuri series that um, some of you may, may know that I've also dropped. I read this one alongside Failed Princesses. Uh, this is just another one that's too cutesy for me. And this one, though, it has adults. So you do have some more sort of, I guess I'll call it fan service, but um, You'd think that it'd be more mature, so you I would put it in front of Failed Princesses, but I actually like this one less than Failed Princesses, so I'm gonna put it behind Failed Princesses, but still, Arrow Ninja is the worst thing that I've read so far. Uh, now, the quintessential quintuplets, oh man, where is this gonna go? Is it gonna go above Hunter x Hunter? Is it gonna go in the A rank? Uh, I don't know. While I do love the quintessential quintuplets and all of the Nakano sisters and the MC too, I really like him, I can really relate to him. 
um, well, not not the whole not the whole having five twin sisters after you, but the whole the whole nerdy aspect of him. Back when I was in college, I was a big nerd, and I and I loved being at the top of my class for every subject. But yeah, going back to this, I'm I will go ahead and put it. Do I like it more than Raw Hero? Yeah, I'll put it here at the top of the B rank. All right, now Valex Love, this is one, I read this one a while ago and I only read one volume, one or two volumes if I remember correctly. Um, but from what I do remember, I remember liking the art style. There is quite a bit of fan service. I did enjoy my time with it. Um, so I'd probably put it here behind Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Now, World's in Harm, this is probably like the king of nasty man manga. Um, although I, I probably think I do enjoy uh, Don't Please Put Them On Takamina-san more. Uh, so I'm gonna put it, I'll put it right here behind Sweat and Soap. From what I've read of these three, I love the relationship here. I just like the concept here, but this was also really good. So I think that's a good spot for that. You know what though? I don't think Bleach deserves to be back here. Um, I still very much do enjoy my Shonen, so I don't know why I'm putting this one back here. I'm gonna I'll go ahead and move this one back here in front of these three series, uh, just because I do really like Bleach. And I think the thing is that with Shonen, I might actually prefer watching anime rather than reading the manga. When it comes to romance and etchy stuff, um, I have more fun reading that than I do watching the anime for that stuff, kind of stuff. Um, but regardless, I'm putting Bleach right there. Uh, Val X Love is another one that, thinking back, that one might actually be better off here at the front of the sea. And I might have even preferred Parallel Paradise, so I'm going to put that behind Parallel Paradise. Now Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs, uh, this is another one that I read in October. And I really enjoyed it, so I'm putting it behind Worlds in Harem. Zom 100 read the first two volumes. I'm really liking it, so I'm putting it right here behind Bleach. Now, the Elder Sister Like One. This is one that I dropped because at the time um, it was kind of episodic and I wasn't really into that manga, but now I kind of regret selling it. I kind of, a new volume came out recently. And I want to pick it up. I want to keep reading the series, um, but I already sold my first three volumes, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. But um, I'd say it's right here, right behind Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Living Stone is another one that I decided to sell off, not because I didn't like it. I also thought similar to the Elder Sister like one, um, it was pretty good, but it was complete at four volumes. And I think I'm just not a fan of short series. I don't know why. I think it ended too abruptly and I never think that I would go back to reread it. It was good, but not great. So you know what? I'll put it here at the front end of C. I still do think I enjoyed these series more than Living Stone. Uh, Scarlet is another Yuri series that I'm dropping. Uh, this one, I don't know. I don't know if I should put it behind or in front of Arrow Ninja whatever it's called, Arrow Ninja Scrolls. Uh, just because this is another short series, it's only two volumes. I do remember liking the first volume, but then the second volume just went way down a steep hill and just base planted, belly flop, whatever you want to call it. Um, so because I enjoyed the first volume, I'll go ahead and put it, you know what? I'll probably put it at the front end of D. Still dog shit and still dropped it and that one's one that I can't get rid of. I can't sell this one. I still have it in my inventory closet. Oh wow, all that's left is series that I've dropped. So, uh, what is this one called again? The Abusaki-san, something, the, the Lizard Girl manga. Um, I didn't enjoy this one. Um, I'll probably put it here in front of these two though. It wasn't Yuri, um, so it was still all right. The artwork was nice, but I just, it was, too episodic for me and they had short, the chapters were too short and there was like 20 chapters in the first volume which is crazy uh, so I just didn't enjoy that one and your turn to die uh, this is probably the better of all of the manga that I've dropped the only reason I dropped it really is because it was uh, marketed as a death game manga but from what I read there wasn't too many it just wasn't mature enough for me for being a death game manga so um, that's why I'm deciding to sell that one off, but I think it might still be good. I think uh, teenagers and they still really enjoy this one. All right, so here's my tier list. Let me see if I want to move anything around before I decide to make this final. 
Uh, thinking about it, I might put Gigant right here. I don't think it's actually better than these two, so I'm going to put it right there. I have three S ranks right now. I think overall right now I agree with this A rank. Uh, my B's, do I want to move anything around here? You know what, maybe Psalm 100, I don't mind putting behind these three, or these four now right here. Uh, so I'll move that and then I think the rest of this list is pretty good. You know what, I might even put it behind Soul Eater and, and yeah, I think the rest of this li list looks good. Now I might contradict with my last top 10 series that I've read the video, um, but I haven't taken a look at it. I don't remember what I put last time in my top 10 list. Um, I'm just going off based off of how I feel about these series right now at this moment. So right now here's my top 10 from Hunter Hunter to Raw Hero in that order. That would be my top 10 right now. So. I know I'm missing a lot of series in, an, in other people's top 10 videos, so I can't wait to read those and just see how this list evolves over time. But yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this ranking. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want some more manga related videos, check out these videos over here. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.